Hello, my name is Darina. Once a winter dad brought the meat of a wild animal, which was sold to him by a hunter. It turned out that it was a gully meat. A gully is an um, animal set and in the red book. I didn't eat meat and I don't it was you to eat either because if you want to eat hunters and poachers will give them even more. The state issues 70 licenses per year to shoot this animal. In addition to licensed hunters, poachers hunt and kill algali. Algali is the nature's food of snow leopards, which are also listed in the Red Book. When the number of algali decreases, the leopards live, live for another territory or die. Hello, my name is Bekaim. The story of Darina touches us and we begin to study and research this problem. We learned this by decree of government of Kyrgyz Republic uh, dated April 28, 29, uh, number 1069. Uh, then we see that in the wording of the decree, of the government of the Kyrgyz Republic of July 25-2005, number 471. Endangered animals imprisoned. Hi, my name is Janet. The Global Goal 15 plan on land protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and hold and promote land de uh, degradation and hold biodiversity loss. Also in Kyrgyzstan, 2022 has been declared the year of protection of mountain ecosystems and climate uh, resilience with an emphasis on the conservation, conservation of glaciers, forests, and biodiversity, uh, increasing, increasing preparedness for natural, disastral, and social economic support for mountain communities. To begin with, each team member did a survey in their school, in their class, how much they know about endangered animals. Our mobile application is called The Red Book of Kyrgyzstan. This application will raise awareness, awareness of endangered spaces in our country and will help to protect our nature. Application is for a user. 6 plus were used through intellectual game can learn about the conservation of the biodiversity of our mountainous region. Our learning journey was very difficult because we are located in different regions. But despite such challenges we managed this process, we were able to complete the project. There were five of us at the beginning and three of the remaining until the end, the whole project we worked without nice mentor Aida, and we didn't even see the second mentor. The project also motivated us to learn English better. In this school project, we learned what a prototype is, we learned about programming completing with each other for the best logo. And of course, we realized that we can change the world and protect animals.